Uh, virtual machines. They've been the core of virtualization since virtualization was uh, vir virtualization. But these days, virtual machines are, well, they're just not as sexy as they used to be. That's because virtual machines by themselves are, well, they're not really manipulable. You can't configure them on the fly. You can't provision a virtual machine without a lot of extra steps. And so in VMM 2012, Microsoft has taken a step back from virtual machines. They're still there, but virtual machines are now encapsulated into things we call services and service templates. And so VMM 2012 has this radically new approach to VM provisioning that some of you may like and some of you may not. I talk about how it works in my recent CBT Nugget series on the 70-247 exam. I talk about private cloud. I talk about how VMM 2012 can help you deploy services and service templates to greatly enhance how you end up delivering services, IT services, to your users. In this quick micro nugget right out of the series, I'm going to show you some of those new approaches and let you see what you think for yourself. Are you ready to get your face melted off? Because uh, I've kind of almost inadvertently jam-packed a whole bunch of stuff into this nugget. And so sit back. Here we go. Uh, I, I keep saying, uh, probably a number of times actually in this nugget, that there, the whole notion of deploying VMs has become almost passe. You know, the, the, the idea of creating a new virtual machine and then logging into that virtual machine to configure it after it's done is, well, that's old news, right? Today, the exciting thing is in deploying services. And so this whole concept of VMM and the private cloud is all about taking the next step in server provisioning and in application provisioning. And in, in almost in many ways, sort of incorporating some of the technologies and techniques that we've used before in Configuration Manager to deploy out applications and settings to desktops. You know, here's my little, my little sine wave here of the art and science that, that uh, makes up all of this. And many of the same techniques or the art that you've used before in working with Configuration Manager actually will give you good success in deploying these VMM services. Now, now I'm not just saying that because well, I just finished a CBT Nugget series on Configuration Manager, although that is a bit self-serving. Uh, but more importantly than that, the same types of things that you would use, the same knowledge, the same enlightenment that you would gain from working with Config Manager is really going to help you understand why all these very disparate pieces exist and how they interconnect together. Now, services in VMM are the aggregation of OS, uh, hardware, uh, application profiles with virtual machines, networks, and storage. We have pretty much, to this point, built all of these building blocks. Okay, we have all the constituent components pretty much in place that we require to actually get into starting to create these these nifty little services. And this is actually, you know, this is this is going to be a little hard because there are a lot of different dialog boxes and you have to have all these different endpoints for all these automations actually linked together appropriately or you're going to get error messages. So don't get discouraged because the you know, that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow is all well, this nice automation that you can potentially even turn over to self-service if you want. Want to learn more? Check out cbtnuggets.com.